if this isn't one of the most beautiful games ever made, I don't know what is. <laughs> Just well, this is an exciting episode, guys. Welcome to another episode to my beginner series where I'm trying to teach you the basics about Dyson Sphere program. And I'm I separate these videos in milestones, what I consider milestones. And look on the right hand side. Look on the right hand side. Look what we are doing. There's something being built, being built around the sun, which is a Dyson shell. Technically, I think it's what most of us think of uh, when we think about a Dyson sphere. So yeah, we are in that moment of the game. So this is another important milestone where we're actually building a Dyson sphere. This is not um, the objective of this game, funnily enough. It's the effect of the game is to research white cubes, which is the next episode, not this one. But this is an important milestone because you need power. And, it, and this is kind of the unofficial goal of the game to actually build a freaking Tyson sphere. How cool is that? Look at this. Look at these images. I could stare at this for hours and I'm not exaggerating. This is how beautiful this game is. Sometimes I'm building like these massive factories and I get tired uh, halfway through it and the way to rest is just find a good angle for, you know, whatever you're doing and just stare at it. Grab some tea or coffee, whatever is your drink of choice and just enjoy this. This is just, it's amazing. Okay, so today's episode is to show you how to build a Dyson shell and I'm assuming at this point you've been following this tutorial this guide and you already have a Dyson swarm and if you don't know what a Dyson swarm is please go and check out my video but just a quick look you see these little dotted yellow things here these are like um, little solar panels they call it uh, solar cells and you need to build these because these are the ones that are going to be used to actually fill this structure. You see this, um, this pattern over here, kind of bluish, greenish pattern. The solar cells are used to fill the structure. You see the outside is the actual physical, let's say physical structure. I don't think it's physical, but hopefully I'm making sense. And then use solar cells to fill in the gaps and actually build completely the the Dyson sphere. So the reason why I'm showing you this first is to show you basically what do you actually need in order to build a Dyson sphere. You need two things. Dyson swarm, you see these cannons, these ejectors, I think that's how they call it, these rail ejectors. They shoot the cells into orbit and then you produce these, uh, let me see the name, I never remember the name of these things. The silos, yeah. So the launch silos is what launches these uh, small spaceships and they are the ones that are going to build the structure you saw. Okay, I'm really trying to find the angle. Yeah, the structure you're seeing here around the sun, they are being built by these spaceships. They go there, they build the structure around it, which in this game is called shell. So they build the shell and then the guns shoot the cells into the sky and then they get let's say absorbed i think you can kind of see over here you see these blue lines or these blue dots it's the shells or the not the shells the cells being absorbed by the dyson shell infrastructure to start actually building the shell so you need these two things okay just to quickly recap you need the dyson the dyson swarm which produces Dyson sails, and then you need these silos with these ships that you also need to produce that build the actual structure, which then absorbs the sails and builds your Dyson sphere. Okay, let's take a look what that means on the Dyson sphere editor. As you can see on the left hand side, we have two sections the Dyson swarm, which at this point we should already build. In this case, I have three orbits. You see here on the left hand side one, two, three. That's, these are these three rings you see here on the screen. And you can actually see here the flow of this blue, the sails flowing into the structure. And then you have the actual shell where you can also have multiple layers. In this case, I only have one layer. Okay, so you need to unlock research for this. To build the shell, it's really simple. You just click add new layer. And then you, with like the same way you did with the swarm, you select the radius, the inclination, the longitude and then you click create 
at this point nothing happens okay you just get a like the, a, an empty template where you can actually start building stuff so I'm going to show you real quick the main things you need to learn about this so once you create it you'll notice here on the bottom that you have several tools so this is to change the grid of this template so if you click here you can select different grids this is to build a node just a single node this is to build a frame which is two nodes and the actual frame connecting both nodes this is like um, straight this is curved I tend to use this one and this is to fill in the the gaps and then you can paint it this is a fairly recent feature you can also paint this stuff okay so I'm just going to create a very basic actually I'm going to continue uh, working on the shell that I started so I already started here by creating this kind of weird shape I normally like to leave gaps on my shells I don't know, it makes, looks like uh, the Death Star, you know, from Star Wars, it, uh, living, like it being under construction. So I like to not have like a, a completely filled up Dyson Sphere. So I'm going to select which part? This one. I think this one is, is good. I'm going to pause. You can pause this because it's difficult to, to build it while the thing is spinning. So I'm going to pause and then I'm going to align the screen. I'm also going to remove the background. And for that, you click here, hide the back structures. It makes the interface less cluttered. For me, it helps me to draw these things. And then what you do is you select the layer, then the tools appear. I normally select the curved, and then you start the drawing. You click where you want to start, you click where you want it to end, and you keep doing whatever shapes you want to do. You can make all kinds of weird shapes, okay? You don't have to, <laughs> you know, to do exactly like I'm doing, obviously. Uh, let me delete this stuff. But you can do whatever shape. So it's basically, this is, if you are extremely creative, which I'm not, by the way, you can be like awesome stuff. If you Google this, there's people that may like awesome, awesome spheres. I like to keep them simple. And like I said, I, I create these patterns that look like it's incomplete. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to create like these weird patterns over here. Just to give that uh, incomplete look or in progress kind of look. Okay. So this is how you build the shell. And now you want to fill it up with, with some pattern. And this pattern is what... Uh, uh, what the uh, solar cells are used for to fill this this thing up. So I again, I'm a simple guy. I'm I, li I do like this pattern. So I just click between these frames, and there you go. And then what this will trigger once I impose the game? Well, I have a lot of things to be built here. So, but what will happen eventually is that these ships are being launched. Will be launched from the silo. They will land on these nodes and they start building the frame. Once the frame is built, then the solar cells come in and fill in the gap, and that's how you do it. And then you can go nuts, you can paint. So I'm going to select a color, let's say red. I'm going to paint this red. You can also paint the frames. So this is going to be really weird. <laughs> this is just to show you how I'm doing it. I'm, I'm probably going to undo this uh, offline, but for now I just want to show you that you can basically go nuts. There you go, red. Actually, it might look cool once it's done. I might leave it. But I don't know. Anyway, um, and that, that's basically it. Then you, the rest is details. You can explore this. But as you can see, from a basic perspective, it's very simple to create a Dyson sphere. Something important that I was struggling a little bit is uh, okay let's say you have a lot of work creating shell and layers and stuff and then how do you how do you save them how do you save this you have several references of blueprints but you don't have the blueprint um, option here so you need to go to notepad or similar and when you copy let's say I want to save all of this right all layers see on the left hand side or, or even this okay let's go with this one Okay, so you can copy, it goes to the clipboard, but you don't have any interface in the game, 
yet, as, as, at least as far as I know. If you do know this, if there's a better way of doing this, let me know. I couldn't find it. And then what I what you need to do is to open Notepad, and then you just paste it in, and then you file, save as, and there you go. And then you need to do the other way around. You need to copy this into your clipboard and then paste it. Okay, hope it made sense. Now let's check the actual factory and what you need to build these uh, spaceships, silos, and etc. Let's take a look. This game is beautiful. Look at this. Oh, Jesus, I love it. I love it so much. Okay. Um, so the factory itself is quite small. I just have these two things, but the supporting to build the actual components, which I'll show you in a second. But as you can see, the planet is... Yeah, it's it turned into a, a giant factory. It just <laughs> yeah, it's it's huge now. <laughs> There's still uh, several gaps. I tried to to make small, relatively small factory because the game will end once you research. Let me show you real quick. Once you reach search white cubes, which I'm still I still didn't. So I already at this point in the game. I already researched absolutely everything, as you can see. Absolutely everything. Oh, oh, this is the new thing. Okay. Well, actually, let's research this. This is a new recipe to produce more oil. I don't really know right now why would you want more oil being produced, but anyway. Anyway, yeah. So, I ev everything except uh, all the technology I should say except the ones that require white cubes have been researched so for me to beat the game is not to create a Dyson sphere is to actually research these cubes and that's it and um, same with the upgrade so my Mac and all the related technologies uh, for Dyson sphere as well as the Mac itself they're all researched as well that was really fast. Now everything else needs white cubes. And that's for the next episode. That's why I stopped here. I'm not researching anything because I want to show you on the next episode how to do the, the white cubes uh, production. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of supporting infrastructure just to get to this point where we build Dyson Sphere and we are in a position to actually build the white cubes. So let's check what we need for a Dyson Sphere. We need these small carrier rockets and as you can see there in the recipe to build those rockets you need those components so these components are transported by the rockets into the Dyson shell and then you can build a Dyson sphere with it and most of these components I already had I, I mean factories that is for this and as you can see here it's not huge Oh, and I can see also I have a problem. You see this belt is empty, now it's filling up a little bit. That means I'm not producing enough of these um, frame materials. But it's fine, you know. I, again, I'm not playing this optimally. As long as goods are flowing, and as you can see, occasionally uh, it comes. And where is the exit? Oh, it's on the other side. And uh, again, uh, the, my, my recent playthroughs I don't I, I don't use uh, planetary logistics stations anymore I all I use is the, um, the interstellar ones but here I was trying to be clever and uh, as the beginning I was exploring stuff and I think I think it's still interesting to see how I, I used to play the game and revisit it a few months later that's basically this whole series was was me trying to do this roadmap to myself meaning create a, 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 a journey step by step or milestone by milestone so I could learn from it and then decided hmm, I think this would be interesting for other people I hope I hope it really is because I think it helps to see the game uh, split in these milestones so I'm using these interplanetary logistics stations to send the rockets here it is so I'm, I'm using this one to grab locally and send it remotely because I'm using that other planet this one which is the closest to the Sun because I felt it was faster to travel these ships but probably doesn't make any a big difference but anyway I wanted this planet or I have a whole planet dedicated on building the Dyson sphere 
and that's basically what this tower is doing is just sending the materials there and that's it in terms of the actual recipe to build the rockets and the frame components I, I can see small factories is enough to start building a decent Dyson sphere obviously you probably will want to improve the production of things if you want to have it faster or maybe bigger uh, or, or you know whatever this is just an example and as you can see I like to make these uh, separated factories I don't like to have like a whole big factory building all the components and everything sense for example this could be one single factory building all these three components the materials the cells and the processors but I prefer to have them separated although now in the uh, there's a new mode that came out just a few days ago days from this recording obviously where there's a hard mode where maybe it's more efficient to not have this uh, all these factors separated and have like this um, mini industry creating all these components for one single purpose but anyway that's a more like an advanced topic let's say to optimize gameplay but as you can see all you need to do is create these two simple factories and you're ready to build a Dyson Sphere obviously the challenge is to build all the supporting industry i.e. all these materials here on your screen in order to get to this factory but the factory itself once you get to this point as you can see it's quite quite simple now what I'm going to show you as well is the actual silos because the silos require some advanced materials these two but in particular and they're quite expensive to build these silos and not only that they consume a lot of energy if you see there on the right hand side the work consumption is 18 megawatts which is quite big so every time you launch a, a rocket into your Dyson sphere it consumes a lot of energy and uh, let me go back to the planet um, let's say the Dyson sphere construction planet and I'll, I'll show you what what that means in terms of power consumption here we are so as you can see we have the rail guns to shoot the solar cells into orbit and then you have the silos launching the rockets to actually build the Dyson frame and the Dyson uh, sphere itself so how much power do we need for this this is like this is not huge oh wow <laughs> I need more <laughs> I even need more you see here the satisfaction information yeah 15% I need 15% more but yeah you see this this consumes a lot just you know this is not a lot of, of stuff at least um, if you want to create like a huge huge uh, construction site let's call it construction site for a Dyson sphere it's not huge you know I'm I, only the North Pole I think it's the North Pole um, has as stuff to me this doesn't look a lot maybe it is actually but to me it doesn't feel like it's a lot and I'm consuming uh, more uh, almost more than half a gigawatt of power which is a lot it's probably more than what I'm consuming in the, my other planet where I have my main planet where I have basically all the factories so just bear in mind when you get to this point you need the ray receivers you see here you'll need ray or other forms of energy but I find that the ray receivers are easier because the swarm basically already generates energy so you can consume that energy to enable you to use that energy to build a Dyson sphere and you have you know you have plenty of energy you can see here well actually <laughs> I shouldn't have said that look I'm producing three gigawatts of power and I'm consuming almost all of it it's crazy how much power you need for the late game um, industry it's just really really crazy but then the ultimate goal is not to actually build a Dyson Sphere a Dyson Sphere is very useful to produce energy so you can then produce white cubes which is the next episode I hope it makes sense so as you can see you need a lot of energy and it's with this awesome view of rockets being launched into space that I say goodbye and I hope to see you again in the next one where we're actually going to wrap up this series the next one is going to be the last episode where we're going to see how to create those or, or build those um, white cubes and complete our mission see you then bye bye